Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's recipe, I'll be making sweet crunchy stir fries. Please, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to support me by subscribing, like and share. Thank you. Let's start cooking. I'll be starting by showing you the chicken breast which I'll be using for the stir fries. I've got two big packs of big prawn. On this bowl, I've got a mixture of onions, sweet pepper, carrots, sweet corn and garbage. I'll be cooking with two of those bowls. I've got the mushroom. I'll also be using one pack of bean sprouts. I've got some tiny salt, onions, white pepper, olive oil, squash bonnet, garlic and ginger. I'll also be using Maggi cube and black pepper. I'll be using the olive oil to blend the onions, garlic, ginger and squash bonnet. After blending, I'll get the bowl. I put the big prawn in the bowl, it's been clean. I'll be adding some of the spices listed on this video, white pepper, black pepper, salt, maggi cube, and the blended onions, squash bonnet, garlic, and ginger. Next, I'll ensure this is well mixed using my hand. After mixing properly, I'll wrap the bowl with the clean theme and leave this to marinate for at least one hour. It depends on how quick I am to cook, but sometimes I do leave it longer than one hour. I will also marinate the chicken breast. The chicken breast has already been washed and chopped. Just the same step as I've used to marinate the brick prawn, I will also marinate the chicken breast. I find out that following this recipe makes the chicken and the prawn very tasty. It gives you that nice flavor of the ingredients that's been used to make the stir fries. The first time I tried this recipe, it tasted so nice that even my husband was like, wow, this is one of the best I've made. The reason was because I seasoned the chicken breast and the prawn before using it. I will get the pan ready. I always cook with virgin olive oil. I just added a bit of olive oil. Then I'll start by adding the chicken breast. I'll be frying the chicken breast on a very low heat. After frying for about three minutes on a very low heat, I'll be adding the Maggi cube salt, black pepper, and I'll also be adding the white pepper, then I'll stir. I use very little spice because the chicken breast and the prawn already have some spice on them. Next, I'll be adding the mixed veg stir fries. I have a combination of sweet corn, yellow, green, and red pepper, carrots, garbage, and the bean sprout. I will just stir this and ensure it's well mixed. The gas cooker is on the medium heat. Next step, I'll be adding the mushroom. The mushroom has been washed and I chopped them with knife. After stirring the stir fries for about five minutes, I'll be adding the big prawn. At this point, I will stir fry on a high heat for at least 10 minutes. And after about 10 minutes, the stir fries is ready. It tastes so nice and so crunchy. It's called sweet crunchy stir fries. These stir fries can be eaten with rice or sometimes I eat it on its own with avocado. It's really nice if you try it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm grateful. Please, if you're new, don't forget to support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for all my old followers. I'm grateful for all the love and support. Have a lovely day and I will see you on my next video. Goodbye. Bye.